subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. In this class, we will discuss about machine learning types. There are of three types: supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. For better understanding of this class, we have to understand about what machine learning is. This we already discussed in our last class. Please watch that video and come back here. The link for that video is given in the description below. So coming to our uh, supervised learning, what's the definition states is it is an ML task of ML means here machine learning task of learning a function that maps input to an output based on collected input output pairs. What it says is based on collected input output pairs we have to identify a mathematical function this function has to map input to an output so the the example which we chose in our last class comes under supervised learning let's check how our last example comes to supervised learning what's our last example last uh, class example that's we have to predict the tip amount based on bill amount so what's the definition states is collected input output pairs here what's input output means bill amount is the input tip amount is the output so collected input output pairs what we did in our last class we collected some data related to input output pairs related to bill amount and tip amount based on the collected data we identified a mathematical function what's the function that we identified in our last class tip amount is equal to 10% of the bill amount this is the mathematical function which we identified in our last class that's what the definition says so based on the collected input output pairs we have to identify a mathematical function this mathematical function maps input to an output that's what it says here our input is bill amount our input is mapping to a tip amount this is a mathematical function let's say what how this comes under the mathematical function tip amount is equal to y bill amount say let's say it as x y is equal to 10% of x which is a mathematical function so this type of problems comes under supervised learning let's take one more example for better understanding of supervised learning so next example which we chose here is housing price prediction for this first what we have to do we have to collect some data what's the data we are collecting here size of the house in square feet number of bedrooms location these three parts comes under input what we have to predict we have to predict the cost of the house this is the output so collect some input output pairs based on this collected input output pairs you have to identify a mathematical function that function maps input to an output this type of problems comes under supervised learning okay so coming to unsupervised learning so what's unsupervised learning says is it is an ml task of identifying unknown patterns in the data so the keyword here is unknown patterns so let's take an example and understand how, what's unknown patterns means the data set which we chose here is this is our data set these four statements is our data set what's this four statement saying is the temperature is high today this is first statement it's very hot outside third statement is the temperature went down to negative today it's cold outside these are the four statements which we chose so what's we understand by looking at these four statements the temperature is high today it's very hot outside these two statements are similar okay and what's the third and fourth statement says the temperature went down to negative today it's cold outside these two statements are similar these two statements are similar so what's the goal of our uh, machine learning task is you have to identify different unknown patterns how many different unknown patterns we found here two different unknown patterns one two belongs to one one pattern third one fourth one belongs to the other pattern this is the goal of our ml task to identify different unknown patterns in our data 
this type of problems comes to unsupervised learning let's take one more example we are given with all the movie plots plot means a description of the story so we are given with all the movie plots from that we have to identify the unknown date patterns data patterns means based on the description what we have to identify we have to identify this set of movie plots belongs to action movies this set of movies belongs to comedy movies this set of the movies belongs to some x type of movies maybe suspense movies like that we have to identify all the patterns similar items group together this is what unsupervised learning do okay so coming to a third type it's reinforcement learning this is a little bit different from our previous one supervised and unsupervised one so what's the reinforcement learning says is in this type an agent learn how to behave in environment by performing actions and seeing results so here what's the environment means he has to perform some actions and seeing the results so take let's take an example this is what our environment is here agent means it's our ml algorithm machine learning algorithm has to learn how to behave in an environment this is our environment let's take an example our agent starts here he has four options he can go one step up he can go one step left he can go one step right or he can take one step down he can take any of these choices each time so what's our agent goal is he has to start here he has to go to the box which contains tick mark okay and the condition is he should not take the box which contain into mark he should not step into the box that contains into mark so now from the initial step our agent is having two different options he can go one step up or he can take one step right for example our agent chose to go one step up so now he took one step up here he is having two two more steps he, he is having two more options he can go one step up or he can take one step right assume that our agent chose to go one step right so he went into the box what's our condition says he should not step into the box that contain into mark now our agent failed at this stage he go back and start learning again he starts learning the environment okay maybe he led to the wrong direction because of the initial step or because of the second step maybe the second step which he has chosen is wrong or the first step he has chosen is wrong so he don't know about which step he has chosen wrong so he starts again so he assumes that maybe because of my first step i led into the wrong direction so now he start taking right in this way in this way he will understand the environment uh, till he reaches to the box where he has found the tick mark this type of problems comes under reinforcement learning understanding the chess game understanding the chess game comes under this category okay hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates